Hey, our friends, today we're gonna draw another spider. This time we're gonna draw a brown recluse. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a marker, but you can use a pencil or whatever you have at home. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. One of the easiest ways you can tell that it's a brown recluse, it has a violin shape on its abdomen. So let's start by first drawing the letter U. We're gonna start right in the middle of our paper and we're gonna draw a letter U that's about this size. Nice. Then we can draw the bottom of the violin shape. We're going to draw a taller U shape and skinnier. And then up here at the top, we can draw two bumps to draw the top or kind of the head or where the fangs would be. Now let's draw the body or the abdomen. We're going to start here on the side of the body. We're going to curve out around and then connect down at the bottom. Then let's do the same shape on the other side. Curve out, around, and then connect down at the bottom. They have six eyes. They have two eyes right in the middle, and then they have two on the side, left side, and then also on the right side. Oh, kind of looks like a little happy guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now let's draw the cephalothorax, or the back part of the body. We're gonna draw an oval shape, and it's kind of big. We're gonna come down like this, around, and then come back up. Nice. Now we can add the pedipalps, which kind of look like small little arms. So we're gonna draw two curves that come out of the top. And then let's curve around and connect back in on each side. Now we're ready to draw the legs of our spider. And all of the legs come out of the abdomen, or this middle part. And how many legs does the spider have? Eight. Eight, yeah, let's draw four on each side. And we're gonna start by just drawing the first part of the leg. So we're gonna draw an upside down U on each side, right next to the head. Then we're gonna draw two more in the middle part. So right here, I'm gonna draw, almost looks like sideways letter M. And we'll do the same thing over here on the left side. And then the last leg on each side, we're gonna angle down. So we're gonna aim it coming down this way. That's looking really gross already. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the first legs coming up really high. So we'll draw the first segment. We're gonna draw a really tall upside down U shape. And brown recluse have these really long, pointy, kind of thin legs. And now let's draw another upside down U shape. This one's even thinner than the first one we drew. And then this last one's super thin. We're gonna draw it coming straight up. See how thin you can draw it. And then right at the end, we're gonna draw the foot. And it's just another smaller U shape. And I changed the angle. There we go. Now let's draw that same leg on the left side. They're symmetrical, right? Which means the same on both sides. We're gonna draw that first segment. It's kind of thick. Then the next one is a lot thinner. I'm gonna go a little faster too since we're repeating the same steps. This one comes up to about there. And it's okay if they don't look exactly the same because maybe your spider has the legs kind of in a different position. Now let's draw the two middle legs on each side. I'm gonna start on this side first. We're gonna start by drawing the thick sideways letter U for the first segment. And then I'm gonna aim this next segment coming up. And then another segment that's even thinner. And then we'll draw the foot angled a little different. Now let's draw the next one. I'm gonna position it kind of going the same direction. Then we'll do the next segment, thinner segment, and then the foot. Now let's repeat those same steps over here on the right side. We'll draw that first segment, letter U, and then I'm gonna angle the next segment a different direction and then the th super thin segment, and then the foot. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Okay, now let's draw that next leg. 
draw the first segment, second, third, and then the foot angled a different direction. All right, now we're ready for the last leg on each side. This one I'm gonna curve coming down. And then we'll angle the next segment down further. This, this leg I'm gonna make a little bit longer. Then we're gonna draw the next segment even thinner. And then the foot I'm gonna angle this way. That's kind of straight, a straight leg. This next leg I'm gonna change. So it's not as straight. We're gonna draw that first segment coming down. And we'll draw the next segment a little thinner. I'm gonna angle it this way. And then the last segment, super thin. And then the foot right at the end. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our brown recluse. Except we still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. And really, it's just brown. Yeah. But we're gonna add a slightly darker brown for that inside violin shape. Okay. And maybe also for the cephalothorax. We're almost done coloring our spider. The two colors that we use, if you have the same marker set, is Y611, this is a lighter brown, and then we use Y529 to color in the violin shape on the back. And we also are using CG03, this is a light gray, to add a shadow underneath our spider to make it look more three-dimensional, more realistic. So I'm adding a little shadow around the bottom of the body. You can also add it in between the legs, and this is one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna start up here on the foot, and then I'm gonna draw a shadow that comes straight down and connects to the head. And we'll do the same thing on this side. There we go. Doesn't that already make it look more 3D? Yeah. And then right here, I'm gonna add the same shadow, except maybe a little curve, since this leg is really curved. I'm gonna add that little shadow there, and I'm gonna add it over here too, coming into the body. And then on the next leg, and then down here for the last leg, I'm gonna come in like that. And then this one over here too. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our brown recluse spiders. They turned out awesome. I especially love the shadow. It looks super 3D. Yeah, it looks like it's standing on top of our paper. You could pause the video right now to match the same coloring and especially add the shadow. We hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your spiders. And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Yeah, because the most important thing is... To have fun! And to... Practice! Practice! I'm sure your drawings turn out really cool. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.